Summer Show. We're back here in London this week in Battersea Park Studios. We once again have an absolutely killer lineup for you. We have the earthy singer-songwriter Rebecca Holweg, who's fusing folk, country, pop and jazz. We have Mama's Gun, who've just come back from another tour in Southeast Asia where they do extremely well for themselves. They're playlisted on Radio 2 here already and I think they're going to be massive in 2016. But first up, we have the very talented, very beautiful electro-pop artist Lula with her brand new single, Shadows. Fabulous. Lula, 
Thank you so much for coming on Thanks. the show. Thanks. Thank you for having me. I love your new single, Shadows. Thanks. It's amazing. What, tell us what it's about. Um, Shadows is basically about um, having all kinds of fears, anxieties, uh, worries, and finding something or someone um, that takes all that away from you. It's also mm. a little bit of a party tune. Yeah. Nice little dance. Have a nice little cheeky dance. And tell us about all this gear. This is amazing. I'm I'm uh, really inspired. So I've got my laptop, which I play like certain sections of the song off. Um, and then I have my keyboard, which I play like bass parts on. And and then here um, I've got, it's like a vocal harmonizer box. So oh. for a lot of the songs, I run harmonies through it. I trigger off things. I trigger off different parts of my voice and... You can have looping and all sorts of interesting, creative Amazing. things, different sound effects. Um, this is my dream, my baby. So your single's out now. Yeah. And uh, what's coming up for you over Christmas and into the new year? What have you got? So I'm releasing Shadows. Um, so that's 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 out. And then um, I will be in January. I'm planning on kind of releasing the album. I have a body of work, which I've been working on with my producer. Tell us about your dad. He is Nick Beggs. Beggs. Yeah, he's a musician. He's a bass player and um, guitarist and plays Chapman Stick. Um, he plays with like prog rock bands. So quite different to like my okay. style. But I love it anyway, regardless. It's really cool music. Um, so yeah, his album is kind of like a mix of all that kind of prog rock vibes. But we did this song called Father Daughter, where it's a conversation Aww. between a, a daughter and a, and a father. So it was a you know really nice experience and a nice way to kind of lead into, you know, my stuff and he loves my stuff, I love his stuff and kind of working together has been really nice. Wonderful. It's yeah. great when you come from a musical family yeah. like that. So you've been doing some writing with lots of different people, haven't you? Yeah. And someone you co-wrote with was someone from Mumford and Sons, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did a little co-write um, with Winston from Mumford and Sons, which was a really nice experience and he kind of taught me a lot with lots of like things that he, he said, especially like lyrically. Um, but a great experience. I mean, I love writing. For me, writing is the most important part. Yeah. Like, what I say, what I get across. Yeah. So, you know, it was really nice to be able to kind of mm -hmm. hear from someone who, you know, they obviously are really great at that. Yeah, it was really good fun. Good Wonderful. little session. How and we cool. had lots of sandwiches. Oh, did you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sandwiches. Which I love. I love sandwiches. So it was a dream. <laughs> and you've had a, you had a great tour recently as well. You went around England yeah. and abroad as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we went to Milan, which was good fun. Um, touring was probably one of the most amazing experiences. You just get to constantly play and also just like working off an audience because yeah. it changes every night. Some places you'll go yeah. somewhere and they're mental and they want to like party and other places yeah. they just want to be a bit more mosh. So yeah, amazing experience. We just wish you so much luck with Thank your you. album and the single. Come back and see us again. I'd love to. Yeah. Yay. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, that was the gorgeous electro-pop Lula. Next, we're going to go and check out and see how Mama's Gunna doing up in Studio One.
Mama's gone. Hey, that's us. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You guys, you're awesome. You've got such a fresh, unique, different sound. How did it come about this really amazing original sound of yours? Obviously, we share a lot of the same influences, um, but we work very hard in, a, in, in the rehearsal room and in the recording studio to, to make sure that it doesn't sound like a pastiche of those things. You know? So we take all those influences, but we try and make it a coherent, identifiable Mama's Gun tag. And is the writing like in the band for Mama's Gun, is that kind of even across the board? Or? It's kind of evolved, I guess, just to yeah. the nature of the project. I think initially it was a, it was a, we established ourselves around this group of songs that I'd written originally. But, you know, when you spend time on the road as much as we have, um, there'll be this, this kind of, just by osmosis, uh, this kind of evolution of music and body odour that, 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 that <laughs> yeah. forms our own thing. And that, that kind of gets into the music as well. So yeah, this, this latest record has been very, very collaborative indeed. So It's quite extraordinary like you're all English based but you've somehow exploded in Japan and Southeast Asia there. do you spend quite a lot of time over there we spend yeah. a we spend a fair amount of time over there yeah we, we tend to go over if we're lucky to Japan South Korea Indonesia maybe Hong Kong um, Singapore we've just recently gone over you know usually we'll get a, a trip to each one during the course of the year which is really great and you know, festivals and sometimes our own shows. And we always, you know, we feel really welcomed over there. You know, the people there have really treated us well. You're all, you're like obviously super successful with Mama's Gun, um, which is really wonderful. But also you've all got other things going on as well, haven't you? Tell us, tell us, Dave. Hi, Dave Eight is Mama's Gun keyboard player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first of all... Just thought I'd get that in quickly. First of all, can you please explain me these nicknames? What's the nickname vibe? What's going on? Well, the 80s thing, I think, came from, well, just came from my sort of 80s synth sounds. Was during, during a gig at one point, Andy goes, and 80s, Dave on the keys, and it kind of just stuck from then on during the solo. So one main thing that's happened over the last couple of years is that I've um, been lucky enough to work with Lisa Stansfield as the um, musical director. Yeah, I saw that. That's brilliant. So I do that. I've been doing that for a few years, and uh, that's great fun. Tell us some of the stuff you've been getting up to, Jack. You were drumming for Beyonce, was it? That was a while ago, but yeah, I've done, yeah. I've worked with, um, well, I, it was Pharrell Williams was producing the track, and um, I didn't know it was a Beyonce tune. Oh, you did? When, when I went along. I knew Pharrell was doing it, but I didn't know. And then I, like a total idiot, said, this sounds like Beyonce. And there was this sort of silence in the room. <laughs> so, yeah. I've really, really enjoyed listening to you today. And, um, you know, you've been massive in Japan. I hope you get massive in England as well and across Europe because you really deserve it. You've got really awesome sound and hope you'll come and see us again sometime in the future thank you so much we're going to take a short break now but don't go anywhere and don't forget to check out our youtube channel the ayala show see you after this find the gap what am i doing here in the city I like to look around And see things that are pretty Look around Come on Becky, won't you look around Well I spoke to my friend Jimmy He said I always thought you were a country girl What am I doing Living here in the city I like to walk around In places that are pretty Walk around Come on baby Won't you walk around Well I spoke to my friend Jimmy He said I always thought you were a country girl I can still see the stars Pale the Rushing around in cars, they gotta get made to be here. They got people to see.
got people to see I like green things, don't like green things Keep your head down, just don't look around Come on, Becky, don't you look around Well, I spoke to my friend Jimmy, he said I always thought you were a country girl Well, I spoke to my friend Jimmy, he said I always thought you were a country girl Well, I spoke to my friend Jimmy, he said I always thought you were a country girl Oh, Rebecca, I have absolutely loved listening to your album in the car and it's such a pleasure to have you here on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having us. I love your songs. They're so earthy and real and fresh. You've got like James Taylor type influences in there or I don't know, you've got a mixture of country, folky, jazz, all sorts yeah. of sounds in there. What are your biggest influences? Well, you're right. James Taylor is a massive influence of mine uh -huh. and I've been to see him every time he's come over the last few years. And um, but yes. I listened to Joni Mitchell a lot growing up. I've listened to lots of different jazz singers and yeah, it's a mixture of... Yeah, and it all, we are what we eat, aren't we? It all comes out. <laughs> Your songs sound like they're all inspired by real life living mm, and yeah. events. And you're obviously married to the lovely Andy on, uh, on bass. I must ask you about all your little bells and tricks because every gig I do with you, there's like an extra piece of brown paper attached to the side, making a nice little shuffle drum or, or a, a bicycle bell attached to something or, you know, there's all you've got your tricks. Where do you come up with these ideas? I think I just try and I hear all these things in my head and think, how could I do that? Maybe I could do it with my feet. <laughs> But yeah, I've got, I've got everyone here today to yeah. do it. So yeah, I can relax a bit and make them do the silly bits. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for coming on the show. And, you know, I'd love to have you back sometime in the future. Thank you for having us. It's been really good fun. Well, sadly, that's all we've got time for tonight. But if you particularly enjoyed the three acts on this week's episode, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Ayala Show, where you can see loads of exclusive extras that we couldn't fit in here. Next week, we have more amazing music from Nadine, from the incredible Natalie Williams, and from X Factor finalist Paige Richardson. But for now, here's Mama's Gun to play you out with their song, You, Me, Us, and Everybody. See you next time.
Belong to us and everybody